Shalom. Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rakar Kodash. Double honors to the men at GMS that taught me this word. Peace, honor, and respect to the brothers that's out here laboring, edifying, rightly divine the word of truth and sincerity. And shalom to you believers, the Aki and Wa Akwatim. So yeah, I'm just rolling in the spirit. And um, you know, it's the Pasak. Pasak. Um, but what happened was uh <laughs> I had went on Facebook, you know, and I had seen somebody that I know, you know. A young lady, she in the business world, you know. And you know how you go on uh, social media and you can, you know, you can do your videos with the music and stuff. And you know she had the music playing and then you know how you can have the stories as well. So I just seen her on her story, you know, she had the like, you know, she had the like turtleneck thing going on, black turtleneck thing with the gold chain and some sunglasses, right? Then on one of her um, videos, you know. She just, you know, and nothing against her or nothing, but it's just, I was just meditating, just thinking about it, like, man, that was me, like, far as, you know, because I know how to do graphic design, and, you know, I, I, I was doing custom clothing and things of that nature. I was doing graphic design, custom clothing. I was uh doing custom clothing for, uh you know, several different clothing lines and things of that nature. You know, and but when I got into this word, I kind of put all that to the side, you know, and the water you have by Shem Yahushua because, uh, you know, I can still do it, you know. Um, it ain't nothing wrong with an Israelite having a business, you know. I had dedicated my life to my business, though. You see what I'm saying? Before I got in this truth, I dedicated my life to the to my business, to being successful, to being a what you would call a rich nigga, you know, I had dedicated my life to going after the success of this world, man, and just looking at her, you know what I'm saying, and like I said, it's not to gash out on her, you know, because we all got to work, you know, but I was just like, damn, that was me, just like, you know, uh, and the best way I can describe it is, you know, I know that feeling, man. I know that feeling of when, you know, your business, because in the business world, just like as well as in the truth, you're going to have ups and downs, okay? Um, Just like in this truth, I'm learning, you know, you have ups and downs. You got times where you could just do a video and precepts is coming to you, and then you got times where you got to, like a brother said, you refer to it as you got to fight for it. You got to, you know, the spirit, you know, you feel like the spirit ain't dealing with you heavy. Okay. But it's like that in business as well. You know, especially when you first start in your business, you know, you're going to have them up and down times, you know, and a lot of times that depend on your support and your, and your budget, you know, you might have, but you know. If you keep grinding, you got to keep grinding through it when you got a business, man. And that's one thing I'm learning is truth. You got to grind through it. And you know what's so funny? Uh, <laughs> You know, the business world and being an entrepreneur is, you know, and I don't want to be cardinal, you know, but it's like the way in this truth, you know, is similarities is what I'm trying to say, you know. Because in the business world, you know, when you first start, don't nobody believe in you. You know, you might not have that much money. You might have to work a job and do, you know, it's 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 so many um things that you go through when you're trying to uh start your business. And I liken that to this truth that I'm learning. Like it's when I first came when I'm and I'm I'm a baby in this truth. I've only been in this truth coming up to my two years. So I'm learning the similarities, you know. And I ain't going to lie, a lot of the things that I went through in the business world, I can apply it in the truth far as knowing when you got to grind. Now, it's different, 
but ultimately because the Holy Spirit got to be working with you. All right. And I'm going to get I'm going to get some scriptures, you know, but I'm just, you know, I just wanted to turn on, on, the, on the, you know, turn on my recorder and just share this with y'all, you know, because when I seen her, it just. I was like, man, that was me. And again, the water you have by Shimmy was shy. And the reason I say that is because I could still be out there just trying to be rich, trying to be successful. And it ain't nothing wrong with those things. It ain't nothing, you know, as long as they're not taking you. There's nothing wrong with getting your hustle on, you know. There's nothing wrong with having a business. You know, it's not nothing wrong with enjoying yourself. But what I mean is that mentality. Like, I didn't know nothing about this word, man. You know, I didn't know nothing. Like, you know, you got people out there, so they real successful. And they in their glory. And they don't understand that that money is not about to be nothing. That money ain't going to save them. That they could be a two third, you know, and when it all crash and go down, all of that work and all of, that's going to be for naught, man. And that's not going to contribute to salvation. Now, like scripture said, the Lord will have mercy on whom he will, you know. But what I'm saying is like this word, this is the true riches. Like I was. You know, I had told myself, like, man, I'm dedicating my life to my business. You see what I'm saying? Because I didn't have nothing else. I ain't got no wife, no kids, you know. So all I could go for just, I can go for it. You know, my business, that was me 24-7. If I wasn't, you know, uh, practicing up on my art skills or, you know, just trying to learn different things in the business world. Trying to expand my business. Well, I applied them same things to the truth. You know, um, sharpening up on the truths, truth, you know, reading scriptures, listening to videos, you know, uh, listening to the breakdowns, taking notes, things of that nature. But now let me throw this disclaimer out there is nothing with the Holy Spirit because the Lord ultimately put the grace on me. And brought me to this word, you know. But when I seen her her videos, I'm like, damn, that was me. You know, just thinking my business in a successful life is everything, man. And now learning that this word is everything. We got a kingdom to come, man. You know, we got something way better than this. And they don't and they don't know that. You know, they think this is the end all be all. To get a million or 10 million or whatever, you know, goal it is, you know? And I was just like, man. Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. Excuse me for the, you know, I'm I'm just sharing this with y'all, man. It just came on my mind. You know, I'm just rolling in the spirit. I ain't got nothing. I just turned it on. I ain't got nothing, you know, uh, pre-planned. Hold on, let me get this. Your phone needs a mobile or what? Slacky. All right. Bear with me one second. Oh, no. I went too far. Um, here we go. Hebrews 13 and 14, it says, For, we ha for here we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come. Yeah. Us real believers, we seeking the city to come. We not worried about Babylon the Great no more. We not worried about this place far as as we used to. Because I'm pretty sure anybody that's listening, you could 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 be an entrepreneur, and, and and that feeling, that feeling of, you know, when your business clicking, you know, you got several different business opportunities. You doing this, you doing that, you doing. You got money coming three, four ways. And everything is clicking. And you just got that feeling like I'm on top right now. You know what I'm saying? My money good. You know, for a brother, you might have you your woman. You might have some ladies. You know, you got a nice whip. You got a home. Every, all your bills paid. You got nice clothing. You know, you, you on top. You know? For you ladies, you know, you could all your bills paid. You know, all your things clicking. You know, and you feel like you're on top. And I know that feeling. 
But man, it's nothing, man. It's nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just in hindsight. And matter of fact, I thought about this scripture. Let me get this one. Because you got to be thankful to be called into this marvelous light and be thinking on a level of all of these gains here in Babylon and all of that. That's nothing. This word is something. You know what I'm saying? Getting salvation is something. Getting the pure wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of his word is something. You see what I'm saying? Like scripture said, we should glory in, in this, roughly paraphrasing, meaning the glory that we know the Lord, roughly paraphrasing. I might have to get that. But 1 Peter 2, verse 9, it says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Man, that's powerful, man. Just thinking back, you know, and the sister doing good, you know, and I've been knowing her for a long time since like elementary, you know what I'm saying? And, and, um, she's an entrepreneur and I was an entrepreneur you know, but just looking at the video, not to gash out on her, but just like, man, I used to just think about how I used to be, you know, doing my thing, but I was in darkness. You know what I'm saying? I was in darkness. I used to listen to videos about, you know, what mind frame you should be in to get rich and successful. Um, I forgot the guy's name. I used to, you know, study guys such as Floyd Mayweather. You know, Jay-Z, business people like that, other business people. You know, I wanted to be that guy. And that's darkness, man. Because all that's going to come to naught. Matter of fact, when you go to, uh, what is I think that's James chapter 3. Hold on. No. Bear with me one second. That's James chapter 5. Yep, James chapter 5. What do it say? Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth eaten. And that's referring to Esau Edom. But you know what? Scriptures a lot of times is twofold. It can go to you. These Israelites out here as well, your gold and your silver is cankered and the rest of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye shall ye have heaped treasures together for the last days. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's going to Esau eat them. And that's who a lot of us, um, you know, we we envy. The uh, success of this guy. What the scripture say? Hold on. Yup. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Yeah. And a lot of our people, you know, we've been beat down. We went through hardcore slavery. You know, you know the story with us Israelites, man. And we always tried to be like Esau, you know, because this is kingdom, you know. That's why even back in the days, you know, you had a, a, the brothers, what they do, they used to um, perm their hair out. You see sisters rocking the blind, things of that nature, man, envying, envying the ways of this, uh, the, the, the oppressor, man, trying to be like them, man, acting Sahasa Diddy. I mean, you know, it ain't nothing wrong with having a, a standard about yourself. You don't want to just be around anybody. What I'm saying is we have taken on that way of of Esau Edom. You see what I'm saying? Man, that's crazy. 
You know what I'm saying? But again, the water you have, I shame you all shy for calling us what? Into this marvelous light, like First Peter 2 and 9 say. You know what I'm saying? I got another scripture. Um, Wait, let me see if I can just. Uh, what is that? No, that might. Let me see if that's Proverbs. Mm. Bear with me one second. All right. Psalm 65 and 4. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest and causest to approach unto thee, that he may dwell in thy courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house, even of thy holy temple. Yeah, man. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest. You see what I'm saying? The Lord had to choose us to call us out that darkness, man. And just looking at that video, I was just like, man, that was me. You know, that was me. I was that guy that, you know, when thinking, you know, just, I know that feeling, y'all. I know that feeling, man. And Lord willing, this rest upon the mind and the heart of somebody that know that feeling or might be going through that. You know what I'm saying? I hope this lesson reached somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that feeling. A feeling on top, you know, far as, you know, cause I ain't, you know, I ain't no, never been no rich dude like a Floyd or like a Mark Cuban or nothing, but you know, feeling on top as far as my ceiling was, you know, I know that feeling of feeling good, you know, on top far as the carnal world, you know, driving in a nice car, you know, my business clicking. I got ladies, I got money in the bank, I got money in my pocket, I ain't worried about nothing, I know that feeling, man, you see what I'm saying, but it's darkness, and it ain't nothing wrong with having your stuff together, but what I'm saying is, the mentality of just, it's just darkness, man, you know, because this, the fashion of this world gonna pass away, you know, Yep. First Corinthians seven and thirty one. And they that use the this world as not abusing it for the fashion of this world passive away. So all of the stuff, man, that we care about, all of the success and all of this business and all of the I'm that guy, I'm that woman, it's going to pass away. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning. And guess what? <laughs> the, the world to come is going to be way better than this. You see what I'm saying? And that's what these some of a lot of our people, two thirds of our people don't understand. You know, that's why this is a blessing, man. It just made me feel more blessed. Like, wow, that was me. You know, I was just looking at it like, damn, that was me. You know, I was in darkness. I was out here. I dedicated my life to my business. You know, I wanted to be that guy that leave a multi-million dollar company to my kids. I ain't got no kids, but if I had them, my, my certain family members and things of that nature. And it was darkness, man. Mm. Man, that's just, you know. Hey, the water you have, I show me I was shot, man. It's a blessing. Wait, hold on, let me get that. It just came back to me. Let me see if I can find it. I think it's, uh, bear with me one second. Yo, 
up. Jeremiah 9 and 24. But let him that glory, glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord which exercise love and kind, love and kindness, judgment and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. Man, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and know me. Man, what do, psh, hold on. I just thought about another precept. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he reveals his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Man. Another precept just came to mind. One second. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Just, just, you know what I'm saying, man. I'm just rolling in the spirit. Here we go, John 15 and 15. Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father. I have made known unto you. Yahweh Shah said he made things that he know from the heavenly father. Known to us, man, that he heard. What's up with that? Even just being called the friend of Yahweh Shah, man. I was listening to a brother um video earlier and he said, you know, I caught when he was just saying, like, the Lord has showed a certain amount of favor to us who is in this truth. That's powerful, man. And just looking at her videos, it just made me realize, like, man, that's just, that was me. Like, I could still be in that, in that frame. I could be at a level right now where I could be more successful than I was. But I'd be in darkness. I wouldn't know that. That money ain't about to mean nothing. I wouldn't know truly about the kingdom of heaven. You know, so far of what I've learned in this truth, I wouldn't know of the world to come in the aspect that I know now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, that's just. Mm. Henceforth, I call you not servants. For the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, a friend of Yahweh Shah, man, that's powerful for all things that I have heard of my father. I have made known unto you. Matter of fact, another scripture just came to mind. Um, let me see. Let me see something. Bear with me one second. Yep, here we go. Again, the kingdom and this man, this <laughs> I might close out on this one. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. And I think I'm gonna just close out on that one. That just says it all, man. For real, man, I had all, you know, man, I was seeking, you know, man, and I found that one pearl of great price, and that is this truth, man. The water you have by Shem Yahweh Lord willing, this was edifying to the next lesson. Shalom.